We are Alistair and Gabby, a couple of Kiwis from New Zealand exploring the world. We have just arrived in Scotland, where we both have family history. We're spending the next week exploring the country, starting with the Highlands. The first stop of the trip is the Isle of Skye, the largest island of the Inner Hebrides of Scotland, known for its beautiful and rugged landscapes and unpredictable weather. We're not in England anymore! Alright everyone, let's just catch you up on where we're at. Yesterday we caught a full day train up to Edinburgh, where we met up with my mum. Hello! Hey mate, how are you? We'll be borrowing her van for this trip. She was flying out of Scotland the next day, so we spent a cosy night with all three of us in the van. In the morning, we dropped Mum off at the airport and got on the road to the Sky Ferry in Marleg, a few hours north. Classic Scottish weather. We've got quite a bit of rain forecast for pretty much the entire week across pretty much all of Scotland. We're gonna hopefully get some sunny patches over the next couple of days and then it'll start raining there and we'll kind of try to follow the glimpses of, of sun that Scotland provides, but it's a pretty wet forecast and I think that's kind of just how it rolls here. <laughs> the highlands are freaking crazy. I didn't expect it to be quite this magnificent. It's very cool. We're not in England anymore. We made it to, what's it called? My leg. My leg. It is wet, 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 wet. And van life when it's wet. I don't know, I kind of get why people drive vans in hot countries. And in the summer. Well, it's, it's almost summer, but this is Scotland, yeah. so. It's an adventure no matter what, you know. We'll jump on a ferry in, a, in 10 minutes or so, go to the Isle of Skye. Have no idea where we're going after that. We'll figure it out. place to park. It's literally a lay-by on the side of the road. So Lassie, what do you think of Scotland? It's pretty damn wet so far. What do you think the old Scottish warriors would have done? Aveheart would have gotten out on his f***ing horse in the torrential rain and he would have gone to battle. He would have taken off his shirt. He would have put on blue paint on his face for Scotland. And so what are you gonna do? Honestly, well, I'm not gonna do that because one, I don't have a horse. Two, I don't have blue paint for my face. Three, it's day one here in Scotland. I'm just learning. It is our first morning here in Isle of Skye. It has basically been raining for 24 hours straight. It was not forecast to actually rain today, so we're a bit gutted. It's been raining basically all morning, and we have just been chilling, waiting for it to slow down. The van has actually been leaking overnight because it's been raining so heavily. So we're, we're a bit gutted, we're a bit disheartened. The rain has at least momentarily stopped, which means the day is saved, the trip continues, the adventures can begin, let's go. It has momentarily stopped raining and there is a tiny glimpse of sun on us. 
We don't know how long this is going to last, but it's pretty exciting. Magnificent here. We had to walk about twice as far as any of the tourists, but we made it. Yo! We don't know how deep it is, but there's a little waterfall into a pool there. It looks deep enough for a human to fully swim in. It's running straight off the mountain, so it's super cold, but there's no one around. So we can go skinny dipping. As you can see, Gabby is pumped for this especially because you can't see the bottom and it's kind of just churning water in there so who knows what kind of dark gremlins live under there Okay, that is proper ice water. How was that, Gabby? <laughs> My first ever cold water swim. Friggin' awesome, but so scary. <laughs> you can't see the bottom. It's the kind of temperature where your whole body kind of goes... No. No, like, <laughs> whatever you're doing to me, stop it right away. I feel alive! <laughs> Good evening everybody, welcome to my show. Tonight it's Scotland with Alistair. The evenings are rainy, the days are rainy, the mornings are rainy. You better find a hobby indoors or you're gonna get sick of it. Just pulled up to this epic spot for the night. Look at those views. It's been a cool day exploring and tomorrow we're gonna go hike some mountains, I think. But tonight, we have this epic view, so we'll be hanging out, enjoying this, soaking it up, check it out. Oh god, I got sausage splatter on the lens. We went to the supermarket and got two what look like classic Scottish drinks. This is apparently a classic Scottish beer, but more interestingly here, we have the Thistley Cross, which is a whiskey cask Scottish cider. That's epic. Very exciting. Whoa. Oh, I like this. <laughs> oh, I like this. It doesn't taste like it's like 7% alcohol. It doesn't taste at all like alcohol. It's smooth. That is delicious. <laughs> Scottish potatoes. From Scotland. Let's see what they taste like. That's a sausage. Mm. <laughs> That's not a potato. But what did I say? You said Scottish potatoes from Scotland. Scottish sausages from Scotland. Mm. I'm Scottish now. I've eaten the Scottish sausage. 